All right, guys, I'm going to show you some of the new features for the scouting tool that I've been working on. Um, it's not done by any means yet, but it is getting there, and I really like where it's going. Um, but there was a lot of new stuff that I kind of added in the last few days, so I wanted to update this video uh, so you guys can see how it works. So without further ado, we'll get right into it. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is there's only two sheets at the bottom here. You got your Fog of War Scout sheet, you got your Fog of War Draft Board. Um, I still have the original sheet down there, the main sheet, which gave you all the information about everybody in the draft class uh, with no margin of error as far as the letter grades went. Um, it was in a range, but it was going to be in that range no matter what if you had a certain letter grade. Um, it's still there. I'm going to eventually uh, pop that back open. Um, so if anybody wants to use that and not worry about any of the, you know, um, I don't know, difficulty that's been put into this to make it a little bit harder, a little bit more fun, a little bit more exciting, um, it'll still be there. It'll be an option that's available. Uh, just for now, I need to do some touch-ups on it. And so I didn't want, want to get messed with and having questions asked about it and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, here's our new setup. Um, real quick, right now I have not done the Matic Mata generic draft classes. So you see, if you click on it, nothing happens. Um, I've only done the generic draft class generator ones. Uh, again, I will get into updating the Madden generic draft class. Um, but I think most of you guys are really into these guys. Um, but it won't take me long to fix that. I should have that done later today, but I did want to get this out to see if you guys liked it. If it's working right and maybe what we can add to it if we have to, um, but yeah, adding this in shouldn't take me too long at all. It's just a matter of updating a few formulas here and there and, you know, half an hour, hour top, something like that. Okay, but anyways, this is how it works. So this this is what you're going to do. You're going to pop in and this is what – oh, did I not? Of course. <laughs> okay. So this will work by the time you guys are, are done. I have it so things are protected so you guys can't mess stuff up anymore. Um, except for obviously the stuff that you want to click on. I obviously forgot to do that, which is kind of important. So let me fix that really fast. Anytime you guys can't do something anyway and it's protected, all you have to do is come and unprotect the sheet. You can do whatever you want to with it. Um, I don't pass for protect or anything like that. It's more so set up just so things don't get messed up because there are formulas. And if you do delete something you shouldn't, um, it will jack up a lot of it. So... Let me fix this real fast. So this will work when you guys use it. You won't have to unprotect it or anything. All right, protect sheet. Now you should be able to click on this stuff up here. Okay, so this is what the color coordination, or co coordination, well, that's not the right word, but whatever, this is what, this is what it means. Um, you're gonna have your top, position your top two positions basically what that will do will expert scout those positions so if we select quarterback and wide receiver when we run the scouting tool the letter grades you get back for those two positions are going to be zero margin of error so if the guy's got a plus speed he's got a plus speed if he's got you know b plus throwing power he's got b plus throwing power there is no no margin of error there okay um, the worst picks or positions, let's go with offensive tackle and outside linebacker. Now these guys are going to come in with a negative six to six degree of error, which means if they're actually. which means if their actual rating is a 75, it could give you a rating back of 81, or it could give you a rating back of 69, or anything in between, okay? Um, so yeah, so in this case, tackles and outside linebackers would be pretty, pretty rough uh, as far as accuracy goes um, on that. Everybody else in between that we didn't pick that aren't these positions is the other position, and that's just normal, which is a negative three to three 
margin of error. Um, which means, you know, it's not too much, but it, it's not going to be exactly accurate. So this is kind of what we came up with, um, just shooting stuff back and forth on, on Discord and kind of my original ideas anyways uh, about what I kind of want to do with this. I don't want to make it too intricate. Um, I could do more for now, though. I just want to get something out there that's going to be usable and and have a little bit more challenge, a little bit more fun than the standard Madden um, scouting that's available to us. So that's how that works. So we set all this stuff up. Um, this actually doesn't even have to be on normal. It doesn't do anything, but just leave it at normal. Set your positions up before you run the tool, and then we're going to load it up. And it's going to do the same thing it did before. Okay, so our draft class is loaded. Okay, um, it works exactly the same with positions. You click on whatever position you want to look at. Um, it'll filter out to the most important attributes. You can click on your players. You can sort them however you want to as well. Um, so we already know we picked the quarterbacks as one of our expert scout positions. So all these uh, letters right here are, are accurate, meaning this guy's got A acceleration. He's got B plus agility. He's got A awareness. There is no if fans or buts about it. Wow, he's got a really terrible break, break sack. But anyways, um, so this is all super accurate. Same thing with the receivers. Um, if we went to them, and I know you, you can't tell just by looking at the grades, but trust me, I went over this thing with a fine tooth comb, and it, it is how it is. Uh, so here's your receivers. These guys are all going to be expertly scouted as well, and it's going to be accurate. Okay, now on the flip side, if we went to offensive tackles and it doesn't matter if you pick right tackle or left tackle um it'll still give you the correct thing because the offensive tackle uh position group covers both so let's go to right tackles and this could be a huge i mean this guy could go from i mean he could be an a plus or an a minus uh maybe even Sorry, guys, my microphone keeps going out. I do not know why. It's kind of aggravating me here a little bit. Anyways, um, so yeah, there's a – I forgot to take away the wide receiver. There's a wide margin of error on these guys. So you might look at this guy and think he's pretty good, but since we had him on the, on the you know, shitty scouting, then they might be good, bad. You have no idea. So it's going to be – it's definitely going to be a uh, – uh, a wild card if you decide to go for one of these guys. Um, same thing with our outside linebacker. And then everybody else falls in between. Um, so something we didn't pick would be halfback. And so this is going to have, like I said, a negative three to three margin of error. Um, so, I mean, for the most part, this guy is going to be pretty darn solid. But some of these things might be up or down across the board. So that's how that works. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. Um, it definitely does give it some challenge you're not going to get exactly what you want but you can focus in on a couple of those those positions you you're really looking for um if you want to so next thing i added in was were they drafted or not a simple x in the column will gray them out um basically simple as that and now you'll know who's drafted and you won't get confused or or messed up and obviously that'll stay and follow these guys, even if you sort or do whatever you want to, they're still it'll still be in there. Um, the last thing I did was a draft board. So obviously, before you start drafting, you probably are going to want to set your draft board up. That would make the most sense. Um, so you're going to want to set up your draft board first. Um, to do that, you simply put an X by any player that you're interested. Let me sort by everybody. That you're interested in having on your draft board. Okay? Doesn't matter who it is, you just put your X's in. And after you're done doing that, you go over to your Fog of War draft board and you're gonna click on this. It's gonna erase whatever you had in before, so it doesn't matter. And it will add in everybody that had the X next to their name. Now, this works exactly the same as your other sheet. So let's go to halfbacks. You click on your halfbacks. 
and it still has all the same information here um, as it had on your scout sheet, okay? Also, same thing, you hit an X there, marks it out, and you're done. That is basically where we're at now. Um, I really like where it's at. I feel good about it, and I think that this is, at least for now, where I'm gonna keep it. Um, I do wanna jump back on to my progression regression tool. Um, there's a few things I need to fix with that. There's also a couple ideas I'm coming up with. Um, I don't know if anybody know any of you know, but the ultimate goal with that that tool is I want to not have to worry about skill points. I want to kind of be able to just up the attributes um, by a certain amount and do it that way. But that is that is easier said than done. Um, that might not even be possible because it's just going to be a lot of work and a lot of uh, data collecting and, and things like that. And the thing already works pretty damn good. So I may not want to put that much effort into it, at least this year. Um, I could play around with it and the ideas and the thoughts on it over, you know, the next few months and, and just tinker and, and see what I can do and maybe have something um, for next year. Uh Yeah, my mic keeps going out. I'm sorry, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. Uh, so I don't know exactly how far I'll get into that, but there is a few things I do need to, to fix in there, a, little, little, a few bugs here and there that I noticed um, or that have been brought to my attention. So I'm probably going to work on that next. Um, I will get generic Madden draft classes to work with this tool uh, fairly soon. Like I said, it's just a few, few updates to the formulas that I got to do. Um, but for now, I'm going to release this with this video so you guys can play around with it. Uh, all right. Talk to you guys later.